Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today, going out on a Hobie 15 to see what she's got. My front man for this expedition is Thomas. Thomas is ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so there she is, the Hobie 15. We'll just do a few checks to the boat before we set off. It's pretty windy. Probably from here it looks like it's about 22 knots of wind. The sea is quite flat because it came up quite quickly today, the wind. I'll just put the rudders down now. Right, do you want to try getting on, Thomas? So if you use the trapeze to pull yourself up then. Okay, so we're going out armed with the Timex GPS. Do here is we'll just hook the main sheet on. This Hobie 15 is using a custom mainsail from OS3 sails. So on this 15, we've got a manual furling system like this. That wasn't in the script. And here we go. So just using the rudders in reverse. This is backward sailing. We'll make sure we've got enough space to get going. That should do it. Then we'll put the boat into forwards gear and we'll just get out of the moorings. And then we're just gonna park the boat while we put the downhaul on by putting it into the wind a little bit. Okay, there's your jib sheet. Just pull it in till it stops flapping. Okay, so here you go Thomas. If you come and sit here, have you trapezed much before? Okay. Oh, this should be very cool then. Right, you get hooked on. And when you're ready, you can move out onto the trapeze. And have your feet quite wide apart to start with the balance. All right, I'm moving out. And here we are. Time to fly. Okay, come back towards me a little bit so that your back foot is next to my front foot. We just... So with the Hobie 15, because the boat is shorter, it means we've got less bow means it's a bit easier to stick the bow in. So we really have to lever the bow up and I'm taking no chances just here. And we're keeping the boat trimmed quite far back to start with. Okay, and in a minute we'll start going a bit more upwind. Okay, so you can go forwards a little bit. That's it. And there we go, we've got the Traveller set about halfway out because we are quite light for this amount of wind. I think the wind in the gusts is definitely in the 20s, 20 knots at least, maybe a bit more. We're just gonna, oh, big gust coming. What's gonna happen? Nothing at all. That'll do. Woo. Traveller out a little bit more 
as the gusts get bigger, so we've got a little bit less power on. We've got the main sheet in quite tight, which helps to flatten the main sail off. How you doing, Thomas? Good. because we're going to really give it some beans in a minute. Are you able to let the jib off a bit? That's it. Good flick downwards. Maybe a bit looser on the sheet. Here you go. Shall I help you out? All right. So getting the jib out, it's all about getting the right amount of tension between the cleat and the jib sheet. So I think that's about good there. There you go. All right. I'm going to get back out onto the wire bit light just here but we're going to be ready so you come back towards me and we're just going to be ready here comes the first gust making sure i've got a good position on the side and here we go oh ho, ho, ho. God. feels very different to a 16 that's for sure really trying to get my weight back as far as possible 18.29 I'm feeling she wants to give us 20 knots Thomas feels that too does the wind feel that yeah next gust is just coming okay here we go not quite but there's a good one coming just try to keep the bows out. Oh, that picked up there, didn't it? Yeah, it's very gusty up here. So what we might do in a minute is take it downwind so we get away from the mountain a bit. So we get a bit more of a consistent wind. We'll just try this next gust out for size. Here we go. Oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Try to get the main in a bit more. A bit more boat speed. Really hanging off the back of the boat. A bit more wind coming. Might give us a bit more. Okay, and we'll go back onto the boat there, so you can pull yourself up on the handle. Okay, and I'm going to come in too. Easing a bit of main as we come in. 18.29 on the speedo. Alright, so we're going to take it downwind and go for a jibe. Right, you unhooked? Ready to move across? We can do the jib afterwards, it's no problem. All right, ready? Okay, we'll drive there. Quite a good jibe. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. If you keep the jib a bit looser again. Ah, that's good. Okay, and you can get hooked on. And we'll just come downwind a little bit more and then we'll turn on the juice. There's Stefan on the Tiger. He's a regular subscriber to the Joyrider TV channel. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna have more beans this time. So just make sure you take your jib sheet out with you. And we'll start on the upwind point of sail for a bit more stability. Yeah, you can come out when you're ready. Yeah, there's some bigger gusts up here. Oh my goodness, we're feeling some sauce here. There's Peter from Germany. He's loving the FX1. All right. Oh, in fact, I think a flyby of an upside down 16 would really make some great cinema. Oh yeah, she feels much livelier now. rectify the main sheet being a bit short rather than putting on a longer main sheet we'll put on a slightly longer strop on the clue which will act the same as putting on a longer main sheet can you believe that 
I can't. And there we are. A bit of showboating for the crowd. Hull in the air. Loving it. Alright, so we'll go back onto the boat there. Alright. Okay, and you can let the jib off now, so just let it flap. That's the one. Oh, big capsize on the laser. Do you think you can let the downhaul off as well? Yeah, that one. Yeah, so you just need to uncleat that. So here we are, coming back into the moorings. Very good. Gonna get off there. Whoop. Uh, you can stay on until I parked it if you want. There you go, 18.86. Not bad. We'll be trying that again in a bit. Hooking her on. Cool, nice one, Thomas. Ooh. Let's get that jib wrapped up. Oh, you can unhook the main sheet, actually. It'd be helpful. Oh. Let it go. It's all right. Okay. So this is the manual furl. All right. So it's actually having the shorter bows in the 15 that makes it say more difficult but adds another element to sailing the Hobie 15 in a blow so there we go